Hey, hey, what is up? It is your boy Will. Welcome back to the Skinny Survivor Channel, the best place for skinny guys to gain their first 30 pounds of rock hard muscle and go from the scrawny guy to the brawny guy as fast as possible. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my best tips if you've got skinny arms and you wanna build bigger arms as a skinny guy. Now, before we get into today's video, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're a skinny guy looking for more tips and tricks on how to bulk up. Maybe you've been skinny all your life and you wanna simply transform your body well, subscribe to the channel and we've got tons of content to help you do so. And also, if you've been following me for a while now, make sure after this video to click the first link down in my description and go get yourself a free bulking plan. It's gonna show you exactly what to do in the next 30 days to start bulking up fast. So let's get into today's video. I'm gonna share with you four very simple tips you can apply right now to start seeing more results in your arm growth, okay? So basically, you're gonna build bigger arms and you're gonna start fitting those sleeves much easier. So first thing what I wanna do is I wanna show you what I was like, okay, when I started. So I'm gonna put a picture up on the screen here and I'm gonna show you that it wasn't always easy for myself or me to build big arms and I started with very skinny arms. So if you've got skinny arms, you are not alone, okay? Building big arms as a skinny guy is one of the hardest things I've ever, you know, ever done. And to do it properly, you need to know how to execute properly. And I'm gonna share with you four tips right now to show you how you can go from this to this, okay? And basically how I've been able to build my arms. So the first thing you need to start doing is you need to start focusing on getting stronger on compound exercises, okay? So exercises like bench press, deadlifts, um, and basically uh, close grip bench press. These are all compound exercises. And what compound exercises are, are exercises that work multiple muscle groups at a single time, okay? So for, arm, for arms, the main ones to get stronger on are barbell shoulder press, uh, barbell bench press, uh, close grip bench press, and things like uh, deadlifts as well, okay? And barbell rows can be included as well because that's, that's gonna work your uh, biceps. So these are the types of compound exercises you need to be focusing on and you wanna get stronger on them. You wanna lift as much uh, weight as possible with good form. And as you get stronger, this is what we call progressive overload. And this is basically getting uh, more and more weight on the bar and this is gonna force your arms to grow, okay? So one of the biggest mistakes I see is a lot of skinny guys, they go in the gym, they simply focus on biceps, okay? And they don't do much compound exercises. Maybe they do some arm curls, I myself made this mistake in the beginning. Well, you can't just do just curls, okay? You need to actually focus on things like compound exercises, getting stronger on those exercises, and this is gonna force your arms to grow as a byproduct of your entire body growing, okay? So this leads me to my second point. I see a lot of skinny guys, they go in the gym and they just do curls and they expect to build big arms. It's not gonna happen. If you don't know already, two thirds of your arm, okay, is actually triceps. So if you're focusing mainly on biceps and you're neglecting your triceps, you're missing out on two thirds of your arm, okay? So getting big biceps won't actually get you very big arms, okay? Now, basically, if you get only big biceps and very small triceps, your arm's still gonna be relatively small. Now, if you get really big triceps, your arm is gonna be naturally bigger, okay? So you wanna focus on uh, number two, which is do triceps just as much as biceps, okay? Sometimes I even focus a little bit more on triceps and do a little more, bit more volume on triceps because again, triceps contains two thirds of your arm, okay? So if you're not doing triceps as much as your biceps, you're gonna really struggle to grow your arms. Uh, tip number three, train arms at least three to five times per week, okay? So as a skinny guy, you should be training your arms as much as possible, okay? So what I do is, personally, I'm on a full body workout split, and this is one of the most effective workouts you can get started on if you wanna build mass, okay? We've got a full workout program for free in the link below, so go get that. But if you're doing a full body workout split, I want you training arms every single session, okay? Three to four times per week in those workouts. Now. Basically, how much exercises depends on you and how much you can take. I would recommend two to four arm exercises after your full body workouts, okay? You're doing this three to four times per week. This is gonna help you grow very fast, okay? So if it's four exercises, 
I recommend two bicep exercises and two tricep exercises, okay? Just keep it equal, okay? What you wanna do is basically uh, focus on uh, controlling the weights, getting the squeeze, and making sure you're doing it with good repetitions, okay? So training arms three to five times per week is essential. The more volume you can do for your arms, the better. Frequency is king for growth. So you wanna make sure you're training them more than once a week, okay? So the last uh, tip is, I want you to focus on time under tension rather than just curling the weight up and down, okay? So I see a lot of guys in the gym, especially you guys starting out, they lift the weight and then they just drop it very quickly, okay? Kind of swinging motion. But when it comes to growing arms, okay, you wanna actually focus on controlling the movement, okay? So if you can't lift that weight, Let's say we're doing a dumbbell curl. You can't lift that weight and control it three seconds on the way up and three seconds on the way down. Then you're lifting way too much weight, okay? You want a weight that's comfortable for you and you can perform eight to 12 repetitions and you can actually control the weight uh, on the eccentric, uh, concentric, concentric movement and the eccentric movement, okay? So um, basically what I try to do is I try to come up two seconds on the way up, really squeeze the muscle at the top and then two seconds on the way down, okay? So this is called time under tension. You're keeping your muscles under tension at all times. And this is one of the uh, proven methods of muscle growth. If you see guys like Phil Heath, he will talk about it all the time. Uh, when it comes to growing your muscles, you need to make sure that you are constantly putting tension on them at all times. The more you drop that tension, you know, the, the, the less muscle you're gonna build, okay? So take these four tips, use them in the gym, and you're gonna start seeing more growth in your arms, I promise you. And if you're looking for more help to grow as fast as possible in the next 30 days, we've got a customized coaching program where we can build you customized meal plans with the exact meals that you need to eat to bulk up. Also customized workout programs as well. If you're interested, the link is down below to apply. But that's it for today's video, I hope it helped you, and I will see you in the next one, peace.